Hi, everybody, and welcome back to The Art of Magical Living. Today, I'm going to be talking about my new Tarot Magic course, which I am incredibly excited to share with you. We're going to talk a little bit about what Tarot Magic is, what this course is, and then we're going to go through the course outline so you get a good idea of what's involved and what you can expect. So what is Terra Magic? Terra Magic is a self-contained magical system, and it's built entirely upon the archetypes and energies of the major arcana of the tarot. Terra Magic is experimental and personalized. It's not some centuries-old magical system that was ossified in the 19th century. This is all new and fresh material. Tarot magic utilizes techniques from a broad range of magical traditions, synthesizing them, including folk magic, Eastern and Western esoteric practices, witchcraft, chaos magic, hoodoo, and conjure, as well as new thought. It takes the best from all of these traditions and creates something entirely new based wholly in the archetypes of the major arcana. Terror magic is not witchcraft or Wiccan, though it can absolutely be integrated into those traditions and practices. Terror magic is not associated with Golden Dawn, Thelema, Aleister Crowley, Enochian, or any other magical system. It is its own practice. And it's not simply divination, although divination is an important part of the practice. And terror magic is ecumenical. You don't have to adopt or adhere to any sort of spiritual outlook or tradition. So now that you know what tarot magic is and what it isn't, let's take a look at the course outline so you get an even better understanding of what you can look forward to. Module one is basically an introduction and preparation for the course. So we talk about course materials and readings, keeping a magical diary, which is an integral part of the course, the goals of the course, what do you want to get out of it, what do you want it to do for you specifically. We talk about my journey into tarot magic, how I developed this system over three decades of working with tarot cards and with various systems of magic. We talk about creating sacred space for you to perform this magic within. And we talk about goal setting and intentions because we all do magic to make our lives better. But to do our magic as effectively as possible, it helps if we can laser focus on the appropriate goals and intentions to get where we want to go. Module two is theoretical. First of all, we talk about what is magic. We look at the various definitions of magic, how and why magic works. We also look at what makes Terra magic different, what distinguishes this system, what makes it so exciting for me to share. Module three is tarot history. This goes even deeper than the history in my foundations course, which is already very in-depth. In this module, we look at how tarot cards have been used for magical practices for centuries. Module four, we look at tarot and the classical elements and how those elements are associated with the aces. We work with ways to attune with the elements and the aspects of those elements that make up who we are. We cover the fourfold rite of the tarot, a meditation I developed and adapted. And there's a link to a separate video I did demonstrating that meditation in the description below. So you can look for it there and try it out. In the course, this is the foundational meditation that we do, but we build upon that basic meditation in many, many ways. Module 5 is Tarot Altars, where we discover that we can use the aces to create portable altars, easy to take with us anywhere and set up at any time. We also look at how the four aces can create the crossroads, which is where magic takes place in many traditions. 
Module 6 is where we begin our deep journey into the Major Arcana. It's where we meet, invoke, and embody the 22 cards of the Major Arcana in a very deep, personal way. We begin with meditations on the Arcana. We practice a form of breathwork I call Pranayama Arcana, which is adapted from Tantric traditions. We look at embodying the tarot, how to place the cards on different parts of our body, how to pull the elemental energies of the cards into our body. We talk about manifestation, bringing the archetypes and energies of the arcana into our lives in a literal sense. We talk about dream incubation, using the archetypal energies of the major arcana, bringing them into our dreams, working with their energies in our dreams. And finally, we meet the Fool, the first step in our journey through the 22 cards from the Fool to the World. In Module 7, we begin that journey. It's a 22-week journey, and each week we focus on the major cards and work our way through what some people call the Fool's Journey, from the Fool through the Magician all the way to the World. We get to know each of those cards through all of those processes I just explained in the previous module. This is the real crux of the course, and this is especially good for anyone who wants to continue you reading because it immerses you in the archetypes, in the energies of those individual cards and deepens your relationship with them, which will make you a much better reader. Then we look at using tarot cards as talismans to take the energy of those cards everywhere we go. And we use little miniature tarot cards. They're very easy to tuck into a purse or a pocket or a mojo bag or hand and carry that energy with us. And we talk about combining tarot cards with herbs and stones and objects that we can create talismans and amulets that we carry with us. This is something I have done for years and I'm excited to share it with you. Module 9 is Practical Enchantment, Spell Work. We talk about adapting spells from other traditions to tarot magic and vice versa. We talk about using the energies and symbolism of the tarot for attraction and manifestation, for bringing things to us, for bringing us closer to the things that we desire. Module 10 is called Tarot Cards as Weapons, and a cheeky nod to playing card magician Ricky Jay's show Cards as Weapons. Now, this is not about hexing or cursing. It's more about self-defense because there are times in our lives when we need to bind negative energy coming at us or we need to defend ourselves against aggression and negative energy. So this is about using the cards defensively when necessary. Module 11 is Tarot and Psy, or Psychic Phenomena. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that this course will make you a psychic, but I believe we all have inherent psychic abilities. This module is about how to use tarot to sharpen and build those abilities. Module 12 is about bringing tarot magic to your readings how to make your readings better by incorporating magic. This is a particularly useful module for people who read professionally. These are ways to enhance your readings and make them better, to make those readings so much richer and more rewarding. And finally, module 13 is adding tarot magic to other traditions. So if you're already practicing some sort of magical tradition, whether you're a witch, whether you are a chaos magician, whether you practice Christian folk magic, it doesn't matter. All of these techniques that you will learn in this course can be plugged in to other traditions. And that's why I think this course is so exciting, because it gives you tools that you can plug into any other tradition 
that you currently practice or that you might practice in the future. Tarot Magic is a self-paced video course, just like my foundational tarot course. You can jump in whenever you want. You could take it at your own speed when it's convenient for you. You can come back to it at any time. It is always yours. But this course in particular features a number of live symposia and gatherings because magic is so much better when you work on it with other people, when you get input and feedback from others who are doing the same work, learning from them while they learn from you. There's also a free community that comes with this course that you're automatically part of. You can video chat with people, you can message with people, you can host group events all within the app. For complete information and registration, please go to theartofmagicalliving.com. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in class.